Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel in the first place. Today we have a Yamaguchi X listener. Uh, this one was fan written, uh, so thank you to the person who wrote it and suggested it. Uh, let us just get into it. Today was going slow as usual. Most days in the small boba place always felt the same. Often seeing the same faces pass by every day, something felt off, as if it was missing. Thoughts like these rang through your head as you sat alone behind the cash register head held in your palms. The boba shop you worked at was small. Well, small enough for one person to take the one shift at a time, you'd always manage to catch the earlier shift. It would be a pain to work late in the afternoon. Boring, you hummed as your head slid down onto the little tabletop. Everything in the shop was ready. You were just waiting for someone to come in. Time seemed to move even slower, sitting in silence. Sure, there were some cars passing by on the street, but the sound was muffled. It was silent for a while until the soft pitter-patter of rain on the rooftop. It started off soft, but soon got faster. In no time at all, it was pouring. The sound of rain always seemed to put you at ease. As long as there was no thunder, you would enjoy it. Closing your eyes to focus on the noise, you felt even more at ease. It was as if the world was more peaceful when it rained. You were dragged from your thoughts when you heard the door open. Jolting up from the shock, your focus was now directed to whoever just came in. He was fairly tall, with short, forest-green colored hair. Freckles were dusted underneath his honey-brown eyes. Even though he was partly soaked, he still had an angelic air around him. His appearance made you think, cute. What? You heard him stutter out, his face turning a shade of raspberry red. Did you just say cute out loud? Um, I'm really sorry I didn't mean to say that out loud. I just thought you were cute and I was just, <laughs> please don't hate me. You mumbled out, your face on fire. In an attempt to regain your composure, you cleared your throat and asked, uh, Can I uh, get you anything? Then he ordered, and you went off to make it. When you were almost finished, you got an idea, writing your number on the drink. Now, this wasn't guaranteed to work, but it was definitely worth a shot. Quickly pulling out a sharpie from one of the drawers, you wrote it onto the cup. No turning back now. By now, the rain had rendered to sprinkling, and when you had completely finished, you had called him over. He paid and was starting to leave when he stopped. He turned around to face you and pointed to the messily scribbled string of numbers on the cup. His expression read, Is this for me? You nodded sheepishly and stared at the ground. Was this a bad idea? Did I ruin any chances I may have had? These thoughts rung through your head as you nervously fiddled with your shirt. Your thoughts came to a sudden close when you felt your phone buzz. You pulled it out almost frantically to see what it was. It was a text from an unknown number. Looking up to say anything, you watched him give a small wave and a cheerful, I'll text you later, as he left. You stood, basically dumbfounded at what had just happened. Today might have been just the best day of your life. Same as last time, different author, but still good. The two were out on a date. Their first, actually, and they were strolling through the park, watching as the cherry blossom trees shed their leaves through the winter. It was right in the middle of fall, and the scenery was beautiful. Red, orange, and yellow, sometimes even green leaves were scattered all over the ground pushed over to the side of the footpath for people to walk on. All while Yamaguchi blushed furiously as listeners swung their arms back and forth. They kept going about how beautiful everything was, and pointing out the different trees and cafes, but Yamaguchi wasn't listening. He was just thinking about them, which was kind of surprising considering they were right next to him, but he was thinking about kissing them. He would wanted to kiss them for quite a while, but just didn't know how. Every time he got remotely close, he would just end up staring at their lips for all eternity until they noticed him staring and turned to look at him, then he would blush and look away. Yamaguchi was such a pussy, as told by Tsukishima many times, and he wanted to change that. So on this date, when they reached the end of the footpath, he was going to pull a listener towards him and kiss them. No hesitation or thinking twice, he was going to live life in the moment. A listener gasped loudly and dramatically and slapped Yamaguchi's arm repeatedly, pointing towards a willow tree with beautiful hanging leaves. Look at that, Tadashi, it looks like Wonderland, they gushed like a small child. Yamaguchi felt his heart burn. The listener was so cute and all he wanted to do was hug them and kiss them until they passed out from the lack of oxygen, but obviously he couldn't exactly do that. He smiled and went back to looking ahead of him as the end of the footpath approached, but then he noticed a guy on his bike approaching and he was going quite quickly. The guy on his bike obviously didn't see them, because he showed no sign of stopping or slowing down, or even riding around the two of them. 
Um, listener John, watch out! Yamaguchi exclaimed, pulling listener towards him just as the bike sped past them and they stumbled into him. He caught them in his arms, wrapping around their waist to keep them up as they looked at him and blushed a little. The two were quiet for a minute before Yamaguchi brushed their hair to the side, and he gazed into listener's beautiful eyes. Without hesitation, Yamaguchi pressed his lips to theirs in a light but passionate kiss, his eyes closing into bliss and satisfaction. Listener kissed back, feeling their insides smiling as they pulled away. Uh, sorry, he mumbled, looking away from them. <laughs> Don't be, they reassured. That was perfect. Alright, so that's the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed. Again, my Amazon wish list is in the description. Please don't feel like you have to buy anything from it. The Discord link or the Google form for it will also be in the description. I know I am behind. I'm going to catch up today. Um, <laughs> and uh, what else is there? Music link and fanfic. Fanfic, yep. And fanfic links will be in the description as well. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one and goodbye!